Hey guys, it's me, Liam from Board Busters, and today we are going to be making a jumping game in Scratch. Okay, so if you don't know what Scratch is, Scratch is a basic uh, coding, uh, you know, a coding website where you can code with blocks. This is uh, this project is for ages six and up. Uh, it's very fun and probably one of the easiest. Actually, no, it's not the very easiest. Um, uh, it's gonna be fun though. Uh, it's gonna, it's pretty easy. Um, I did make a video on how to make the easiest scratch game ever uh but this one seems i don't know if it's that's hard or not it might be a little bit harder but let's just get started so let's add a when green flag clicked block and when the green flag is clicked it will trigger some code that's what that block does uh actually whoops let's put this block away i first want to add a sprite go to choose a sprite or you could paint your own sprite i'm gonna add a dragon I'm going to set the size to, uh, let's say, 45. That's pretty good. Let's bring them right about here. And we'll do when green flag clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, it will trigger some code. We will go to this X and Y coordinate. And then we'll go to forever. If. So what this does is when the green flag is clicked, it will go to the X and Y coordinates that we want it to go. Actually, let's put it there, so I'm just going to change it to minus 173 and minus 119, just like that. So, I'll go to the X and Y coordinates, and then forever, if something happens, then we'll trigger some code. So, we'll go to if key, space is pressed, then. But, instead of that, I want to do multiple keys, so people can have kind of an option if they want to do that. So, we could do if key, space is pressed, or duplicate key up arrow is pressed so forever if the key up uh, space is pressed or the key up arrow is pressed it'll trigger some code so we'll do go here repeat 10 and we will change y by 10 duplicate uh sorry five make that five we'll change this by minus five Let's test that. It's a bit small jumps for me, but that's okay. So, let's try both of them. Yep, the key up arrow and both of them work. So, that works awesome. Um, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Kind of want to bring it up a bit more. Let's change this by like, to like 11. Alright, so go up and down on the y-axis if we try that. Perfect, that's awesome. So let's add a background. Choose backdrop, or do whatever you want. I wanna do some outdoor one. Hmm. I wanna do, let's, you know what, let's do this winter one, since it's almost Christmas time, or it is Christmas time, um, but, yeah, I like that backdrop. Or you could paint your own by going up to here. Let's choose another sprite for the danger. We'll click danger. Or, sorry. Uh, I want to pick a sprite. You guys can pick any. I just want to do crystal. And that one's pretty cool, in my opinion. Let's like the dragon. I want to bring him back a bit more. We'll set his coordinates back to where we want it to go, so we'll just type in... Minus 180, 180, and then minus 126. There we go. Now it will go to our coordinates. Now this doesn't have any code, but before we start that, I want to add a ground just to make it look nicer. So let's go to paint. Let's make it a nice color. I want to make it this, the just a nice color I'm not sure let's make it a light blue that's good I'm gonna make the outline just black or yeah let's make it let's select this color or we'll just make it go up kind of darker blue color like that yeah that's cool oh let's select the rectangle tool We'll drag it across. Let's 
Fantastic Four. Now it's not in the right position, so we'll just drag it down a bit. We could use the arrow keys to kind of do that. Perfect. Let's do that. Okay. I want to make the thickness just a bit more. Uh, let's delete this little excess thing. Oh, Control Z. Um, we'll just delete that. All right. Let's code this finally. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to when green flag clicked. Forever. We're going to go to forever. Go to X. And uh, we'll glide one sec. Or we'll. Ah, sorry, we'll glide um, three seconds. Bring that block in. Three seconds. Two. Hmm. Oh, I know what the problem is. We'll go 200. Let's say 40. And we'll keep the Y axis. Hmm. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong way. Minus 240. Look at that. Now we've got our own jumping thing. The game should be fully functional. If we could jump high enough. Let's fix this. Let's go back to this. I want to repeat about 13 times. Uh, you guys could change it to whatever you want. Kind of fidget around. Don't make it super high or it will jump way too high. Kind of got to jump at the right time. Boom. Hmm. I think I see a problem. Yeah, I think we just need to jump a bit higher. Um, 15. Here we go. Now we have a fully functional game. Uh, kind of. But we don't have the kind of stop all. So, we'll go to when green flag clicked. Wait until. Down here. Touching. Dragon. I'm going to rename this to player. I'm going to rename this to danger one. I'm going to rename this to ground. There we go. Now that's all in order and nice and organized. So let's broadcast a new message. Broadcast new message. Game over. All right. When I receive game over, then stop other scripts in this sprite. Okay, so what this does is when the green flag is clicked, it will wait until it's touching the player, which is the dragon. Uh, then it will broadcast a new message, which is basically basically a kind of like, uh, you know how, how in Roblox, if you were following the Roblox courses that we've done functions, um, it's kind of like that when we're calling the function. So that's pretty much what it, it what it is in Scratch. So, yeah. And when green flag clicked forever, it will go to here. And then it will glide three seconds to there. So, that's pretty much what it is. So, yeah. Now, if we try that. We get hit. It will stop those scripts. But it won't stop this guy. Let's just copy this script. We'll duplicate it. Bring it into there. Hmm. Didn't go into there yet. Not sure why. Well, we could just put that in there. So we'll just go back to when I receive game over. Stop other scripts in this sprite. So if we try that out now. There we go. Now it stops. Uh, and you guys, that's pretty much the jumping game. I want to duplicate this block and make it kind of a nicer or we'll make two obstacles. So I'm gonna go forever glide two uh, 2.5 seconds there. I wanna change the costume too. Um, you know what, yeah, let's make this one the size, let's say 75. Oh, no, 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 75. No, we won't do it. 75, she keeps doing 1,000, 75. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So, let's go back to the one green flag clicked. I'm going to go back here. I want to see what these coordinates are. That's there. So, I want to bring the coordinate to about... So, we'll bring it to like this. Let's bring it back a bit. So, I'm going to go here. Bring it a little bit off screen. I'm going to make that coordinate now. X 200, 
35 and then y minus 151 and that will be the same now we're just pretty much just doing the same thing and we just got quicker ones so yeah let's do 2.8 seconds ah hmm i think we got to make our character jump a lot higher though you know what? i'm not gonna add this sprite you guys could fidget around with this i'm just not gonna add it just to make it easier um because i want to get straight to the uh, game over so let's create a new sprite we'll paint i'm gonna go to text I'm going to pick a text i'm gonna do this pixel one i'm gonna make it a black i'm gonna type in game over set or we'll scale it up here like that and there we go it'll just say game over now this doesn't do as much it'll be like it's just saying the game over the whole time when the game's not over so let's just see if i'm still able to actually jump real quick if not we'll make it go higher yeah it's that tail right there hmm what if we could go to the costume and you guys don't have to do this the tail will move it kind of up just a bit more so they can't really I'm using the arrow key to do this too okay that's pretty good let's see if that fixed the problem a little bit it's not as cool though but I just want the game to work you know okay so I'm definitely just going to um, make this repeat at least like 20 times and let's see what that does. Oh, that's a bit too high. Let's repeat about, let's say 17. No, oh. Control Z is to undo, so repeat 17. Oh my gosh, what happened there? Oh, we'll set the size back down to 45. Repeat 17. Cannot type. 17. There you go. There we go. Now our game is actually possible. Okay, so now we can get back to the game over script. So we'll go to one green flag clicked. Hide. And we will go to when I receive game over. Show. Pretty simple. So just when the green flag is clicked, it will hide. And then when it uh, gets the message game over, it will show. So let's try that. Jumping. And then it shows game over. So I want to add a uh, point variable. So I'm going to go to make a new variable. We're going to name this score for all sprites. And I'm going to make this large readout. I'm going to put it, hmm. Let's take the game over and kind of bring it down a bit. That's better. Now I want that score variable. We will, one green flag clicked, we will uh, set the score to zero. Let's delete the my variable variable. We'll change score by one. Let's see if that, if that works. There we go, now we have a score. That's awesome. Now we have our own fully functional scratch jumper game. And you guys can add noises if you want to this, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to rename this to Christmas. Hopefully that's spelled right. Yeah. Christmas Scratch Jumper. And you guys will be able to play this if you want. Um, And it the link will be to this game in the description. You could remake, mix it if you want. Uh, do it, really do whatever you want if you with this. So there we go. And we could share that, and I'm just going to add some quick instructions like uh, space. Oh, it's not right. Space to jump, uh, space or arrow key to jump. There we go. And just click share. Just um, remember to ask your parents if you're able, if you want to share this game. Um, 
uh, just ask them for permission. Uh, if not, that's okay. Um, just just show them the game that you made. I think it's still really cool if you just play it on your own. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna click share if you're allowed to do that. Just click share, and now people are able to see it in public and play your very own scratch jumper game. Look at that! That's a really fun game. I really think that's really fun. So please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, help me get 4,000 watch hours just by, like, watching my longer videos. I have a playlist um, uh, that, that if you can, watch it all the way through. Uh, and that will help me get my watch hours. Uh, and the link to that playlist will be in the description below. Again, this game uh, will be in the description so you guys can play it. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.